I'll tell you a little bit about the trees. The three trees at the end, um, it's a red bud, a younger Kwanzan cherry, and a Mont Montmorency cherry tree. And these were planted by our neighbors, Terry and PJ, who live on the corner up there. Um, a few years ago, the USA garbage truck um, slammed into the red bud and, um, and, and injured it. But the tree is, is resilient and it's coming back. Unfortunately, those three trees too are slated for destruction. These seven older trees, these, these venerable cherry trees, um, were planted by our neighbor Danny McGuire, who lives in that uh, greenhouse over there. He's lived his entire life um, in, in this, in uh, it's six war field. Um, Danny worked at Smith College um, and tended the grounds and the gardens there um, for all of his life. And um, the head gardener at Smith, Ed Wing, gave him, uh, raised these seedlings in the Smith greenhouse and planted them uh, here, and that was something like 30 years ago. Um, and so they've been they've been on this block ever since. We had this year we had the first annual Warfield Place Cherry Blossom Festival, and that's that's our aspiration there that there will be a second annual Warfield Place Cherry Blossom Festival. Um, and at that time. Um, Danny wrote an email. Danny is living um, in an assisted living facility now, and he wasn't able to uh, be here. He um, has always had an interest in Buddhism, and um, so I was hoping that he would be able to come. But he wrote to us and said that Ed Wynn um, would be so pleased that so many people were enjoying the cherry trees. Um, so, you know, why are these trees slated for destruction? The city of Northampton claims that they're old and that they're diseased and therefore they need to be removed. Um, those of us who live here with the trees disagree. Um, and so we consulted an independent arborist. His name is John Berryhill, and he's a certified arborist with the Mass uh, Massachusetts Arborist Association, and he's certified in tree risk assessment. Um, and he's not employed by the city. Um, in John's report, I, I'd just like to read a little bit of John's report to you because it's very beautiful. John should really be a writer. Um, he said, Dear Northampton community, I was recently given the opportunity to assess the condition of the Kwanzan cherry trees that line the sides of Warfield Place. I am aware of what has been said of their age and condition and how some have argued that their current state supports the idea of proceeding with plans to repave the street and sidewalk that envelop them. I feel compelled to share my strong belief that these trees are not in poor condition, that uh, the poor condition that has been described in other assessments that I have heard. And I implore the decision makers to pause and consider the value that their current state of precious maturity provides our community. I have heard the terms pathogen, decay, decline, used to describe the condition of these trees and can say with extreme confidence that they are not diseased not in rapid decline and are actually showing signs of vitality. Tip dieback that is apparent on a few of the trees is likely a consequence of extreme drought that occurred in 2017 and it's encouraging to see sprouting occurring indicating that the tree is actively recovering from that stress. All trees appear to have desirable structural strength relative to their size and the potential loads that they could experience from weather. Although I'm not aware of all the considerations that have been made while planning this work, I must strongly push back against the idea that these trees are frail, causing unacceptable risk, and are good candidates for removal. These trees are experiencing a rare and precious moment of maturity. This is something that I personally can relate to. <laughs> Let me say that once again. These trees are experiencing a rare and precious moment of maturity in a growing environment where that is seldom seen. Mischaracterizing their condition to support a paving project would clash so harshly with all this city has done to honor and celebrate the value of urban trees. So these trees 